I'm going to share five useful websites that can save a lot of your time, make you safe online and as well as in some cases save money as well. So I'm going to share a lot of information. So please keep watching till the end of the video and then also let me know which option you actually liked the best. So this is Sonith from Techitrickle. Now for the first website, I want to ask you how many times have you faced a situation wherein a website shows down for you or maybe it shows with an error code 404, maybe not or for some cases, maybe yes. I did definitely face that kind of a situation just some time back. So the way to check that is you need to hop on to website planet. I'll give the link to the description down below. So here you just put the URL of that site. So in this case, I'll check for archive.org. So let me go ahead and check this, whether it is up for everyone as well. So if I click on check, it does the necessary checking at the backend and then it will give you the results, whether it is up or whether it is down. So here you see it brings up the result saying that it is up. With that, it gives few more information, but I guess that is something that you might not require to use. The main thing here is to know whether it is up or whether it is down. Now with that, there comes also a situation wherein it is really important to know if the site that you are going to browse is safe or not. Because definitely after clicking on that website, if there is some malwares or viruses that get transferred to your PC, I think definitely you wouldn't want that to happen. So in case you are having a doubt on any particular website, then the way to go forward is go to sitechecker.pro. I'll again give the link to the description down below. So once you are on that link, just give the URL there and then click on this green button. So what it does is it goes at the back end and checks whether it is safe for Google browsing or not. So there comes the result and it says that it is safe. It gives the green signal and it says that this website is not blacklisted. So definitely you are free to now go ahead and check that particular website. Now the third website that I'm going to show you here is something that every one of us maybe on a daily basis are required to be compliant with. So what is that? It is definitely the password that it shows up on the screen, right? So in an age where, you know, cyber hacking is being done on a macro level, it is really important to keep your data safe. This website actually shows whether your password is secure or not. So what it means is you have to enter the password here and check whether it is really maintaining all the parameters that it should actually do for a hacker to not be able to crack your password. So let me enter a password and here I have entered the password and it says that it is really good right and it also says here that it would take a computer about 2000 years to crack the password that i have actually put here so now if i actually put the backspace here and if you see that if this was the password i'll definitely not say what i had here but definitely it is something which relates to some city maybe in us okay and you can see that a computer can hack that in 25 seconds. So definitely you wouldn't want to use that kind of a name. For example, your last name or first name or your spouse's first name, last name, you know, those kind of things are definitely something that you shouldn't be using because hackers definitely know how to crack that. Now the fourth on the list comes a place where we want to save some money on Amazon. Now, how do we do that? We definitely have lots of deals that come up. Maybe the one that we actually had during the Black Friday and the one that will definitely come for Christmas, right? 
So how do you check if the product that you are going to buy, whether it is actually a good deal or not? So there is a website called Kipa. So that website is definitely one of the best for checking out deals and also to track the different trends that it is showing for that product, the prices I would say. So let me take any product from here. So maybe this, okay. And let me just show you here that if I actually take the graph here and I go for only Amazon price that you would see here that on October 1st, the the price of this was around $139 and then it had a massive dip in October 15th when it went to $69 and then if you see surprisingly you know it's showing it's showing for 5th December the day I am doing the recording as $14 so from $139 this price has actually dipped to $14 so Definitely, this is something of a very good deal that you should be actually looking out for. Or maybe you, if you want, you can purchase that as well. Not only this, in Keepa, they also give the option of tracking this product. So obviously, from, you know, from 1st of October, you cannot be monitoring this website and see when they are actually dropping the price. So they have an option here to track the product. So it gives the product price that is there right now in amazon.com and here under the new price you can actually have a price set for any discount that it would offer further so if i would say seven percent and you know it comes to 13.02 so when that price comes down to 13.02 it will definitely notify you but of course you need to also give the duration so if it is for two weeks and if you click on start tracking it will take the email id and then in your inbox it will notify you whenever that price comes down to 13.02 but again if you have to use more options or features here for example the data so you can definitely get more details out of it. But for that, they are asking you to subscribe here. And that might be a paid subscription for Keepa. Now there is a free version to this and that is Camel Camel Camel. So if I come to that website, I'll give the link to the description down below. This is a completely free website. But definitely maybe newer than Keepa because Keepa has its authority in the market for Amazon products. Now for Camel Camel Camel, it also gives another important information where it gives the current price as say 99.99 for this product. It gives the list price and also the average price that it actually has on Amazon. So if you click the product, you come to the next page where basically you can also provide your email address and you can notify a price range here where you can give the price whenever it drops to that price it does notify you like it does for Keepa. but again in this case it is free but in Keepa's case if you need to get more information it might ask you to subscribe but the option that i showed you for Keepa, i am sure it will not ask you to subscribe you will not need to log into anything for that now many a times you would want to remove the background of an image. So it could be of yourself, of your friend, family, or it could be of a product where you have a background, but you want to remove the background. Now, definitely all of us do not know Photoshop or the other complex editing tools. So what's the option? So the option that I have found is Slazer. Now that is an AI powered tool that uses the advanced you know computer vision algorithms to understand what is the image and what is the background so if i click on upload image and i do take an image so let me take one image that i have uh, maybe this this was one of my last uh, thumbnails that I had and you can see here just for an example if this was the image that I wanted to have it does give me back the image and if you see the image it is really crisp 
it definitely removes all the background except for this because this was an icon that I put on top of it so it cannot remove that. So just see I didn't have to select any area, I didn't have to trace out anything, it just gave me this option within a matter of few seconds. Now I want to know from you what is your favorite website, what is your favorite website and which one you liked best among these options. So please share those in the comments down below. And do you want to know how to convert a PDF to an Excel or maybe recover unsaved Excel file? So if that's the case, then keep watching the videos that are popping up right now on your screen. And thank you for watching my video and please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Till the next time, bye-bye.